Welcome back, everyone. On the Great Falls Clinic Eye Cam, we have had overcast skies throughout the day today. It has been dry in Great Falls. It has been a chilly day today as well as temperatures have been in the 30s for most of the day. Right now, temperatures are in the 20s, the 30s, and the 40s in most locations. So it's definitely chilly out there, and the temperatures will continue to get colder as we go through the next few days. A lot of locations in north central Montana have been dry today, but along portions of the High Line, specifically from Blaine County towards the North Dakota border, that's where we have had some light to moderate snow falling throughout the day today. We're still seeing some of that snow right now. As we go through tonight, there will continue to be snow along the High Line as this disturbance impacts that portion of Montana. But there is another storm system working its way into the west coast right now, and this will bring areas of snow and rain to a lot of Montana as we head into tomorrow. For the first half of tonight, you can expect mostly cloudy to overcast skies, and there will continue to be snow showers along the high line, especially central and eastern portions of the high line. And then later on tonight, once we get past midnight, that's when that next disturbance will begin to impact Montana. So there are going to be scattered areas of rain and snow around during the second half of tonight. And then for tomorrow, snow is likely for a good chunk of the day along the high line. In central and southern portions of Montana, there are going to be scattered areas of snow and rain around tomorrow, especially during the morning. We're also going to have mostly cloudy to overcast skies during the day tomorrow. Scattered areas of snow will then continue in north central and central Montana tomorrow night, as well as during the day on Friday. And most of the state will be overcast as we head into Friday. And then more widespread accumulating snow is likely as we head into this weekend. There is a winter weather advisory in effect for a lot of northern Montana right now. We have a winter weather advisory in effect for portions of western Montana from 12 a.m. until 12 p.m. Friday. And then for northern Blaine County, that's where the winter weather advisory is in effect through 6 a.m. Saturday. For southern Blaine County and locations west of Blaine County, which is most of north central Montana, the winter weather advisory is in effect from 6 p.m. Thursday until 6 a.m. Saturday for 2 to 7 inches of new snow accumulation. And then for northeastern Montana, basically from Phillips, Phillips County towards the North Dakota border, the winter weather advisory is in effect until 6 p.m. Thursday for 2 to 5 inches of new snow accumulation. There's also a winter storm warning for locations along and just east of the continental divide from 6 a.m. Thursday until 6 a.m. Saturday, 5 to 15 inches of snow accumulation in the lower elevations with up to 2 feet of snow accumulation possible in the mountains. And finally, there is a winter storm watch in effect for basically all of north central Montana from 6 a.m. Saturday until 12 a.m. on Monday for 5 to 10 inches of snow accumulation this weekend. Now through Friday evening, the highest snow amounts are going to be along the high line where up to a half foot of snow accumulation is possible. South of the high line, coating to a couple inches is possible through Friday evening. But it's really this weekend when that snow is going to pile up in between this evening and Sunday evening, a lot of locations within central and north central Montana are going to receive between 5 and 15 inches of snow accumulation. It is going to continue to be a bit breezy this evening, but that wind will diminish as we get closer to sunset with just a little bit of a breeze around overnight tonight. And then for tomorrow, gusty winds along the Rocky Mountain front as well as around the Helena area a bit breezy in portions of north central Montana during the day tomorrow. That wind will then diminish as we head into tomorrow night. Lows are going to be in the 20s and the upper teens tonight. Tomorrow, high temperatures are going to range from the mid-20s to the mid-40s, and then it will be cold for everyone as we head into Friday.